All right, welcome to another video. We are on our way to a place called Hammond Rocks. I'm here in Michaux State Forest here in uh, South Central Pennsylvania. We were just at a, did some hiking over at Kings Gap State Park. So hopefully this is a cool place. Hope there's not too many people here. And I got some mail to share with you at this, at this location as well. So let's drive along here together a little bit. Nice old uh, forest road. Beautiful spring day. Horseback riders up here. Not really sure if they know I'm here. <laughs> I think I see a spot up here, a pullover, and some rocks. <laughs> so I think we are at, I guess this is the location up here. Yeah, you can see all those rocks up there, I guess. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. So we'll pull over right here. Yeah, so that actually looks pretty cool up there. There's all those rocks. Cause I got some information here. Yep, Hammond rocks. Reptiles of Hammond rocks. We really have skinks up here, fence lizards, rattlesnakes. Some other information. So cool. We're gonna get up there in a bit. But I'm gonna gather a few uh, items of mail too that I have back in the jeep. Find a spot up there to share some mail with you. Cool. Hope you do find some lizards and skinks and some rattlesnakes. Yeah, my last video down at uh, King's Gap, uh, we were looking for rattlesnakes. We did find a, a water snake, I think, with no rattlesnakes. All right, let me get uh, some stuff gathered together and we'll get up to those rocks. Yeah, these rocks are pretty awesome already. These are huge. Yeah, there's some graffiti here. I'd read about that. It's uh, one of the problem places they have. But wow. Oh man. Yeah, so I'm gonna set you down here somewhere. Let you have a perspective of how tall these rocks are. I mean, this one right here is just massive. It goes all the way up. Yeah, I can see some places where they try to get rid of graffiti as well. Wow. This place is amazing. Yeah, so I just give you a little perspective on how big those rocks are, but let's look over this way. Over here's a view. That's a pretty awesome view as well. I'm loving this place. But let's uh let's go exploring. We will find some critters as well. There's 
There's all kinds of nooks and crannies. Yeah, wow, look at that up there. It's like a little jungle of rocks up there. So we gotta go up there. Oh, here's the big one. Look at that thing. I think it's just massive. Wow. Yeah, I almost don't even know where to start. Really neat place. I mean, that, that one right there just fills up my screen. Yeah, look, they just continue. There's a whole huge thing up there as well. There is, unfortunately, a lot of broken glass up here. I can tell they try to clean it up, but I think they have people, issues with people coming up here and partying and stuff. And down there's my girl. Might go clamoring around a little bit more on some of these, we'll see. Just gonna keep on going this way. I think sometimes they call these places like a rock city. Kind of what it is. Yeah, just more, more rocks. Cool. Yeah, I, th I think we're gonna head up, head up that way. At least try to. Right, let's head up here together. This is this is really fun. Actually, climb around on these. I am trying to be careful. I think I mentioned in a previous video that I kind of hurt my one arm. I'm not sure what I did to it. Pulled something or tore something, but it's it's on the men. But I I injured it from doing stuff like this. So, but wow. So I think somewhere around here we're gonna find a spot to sit. Like I said, share some mail with you. This is amazing up here. All right. And if we sit for quietly for long enough, we may see some of those fence lizards, fence lizards come out. They love these big open sunny rocks. We'll see. All right, so like I said, I do wanna share some mail with you. So hopefully it's a good spot. My face is a little shadowed out, but it's a sunny day, so that's the way it's gonna be. But I have a, uh, I actually left, some people sent me some more food, but I think I left some of the food down in the Jeep, some jerky and stuff. But uh, maybe at the end of the video, I'll show that to you. But uh, the first thing I'm gonna show you is is from Matt. Uh, hold on a second here. Yeah, Matt sent me a card. Nice little card here. Plus, sent me a cool book. Ghost Towns of Perry County. And we're actually not too far from Perry County. I think I'm actually just one county below here in Cumberland County, but so I love my ghost towns. Um, and I know I've been to one of these towns, so this book will come in handy, helping, you know, making some more videos of some more ghost towns, hopefully. 
So that's a cool gift. Thank you, Matt, for that. Um, I got some stuff from Renee. Two things from Renee. One is the shirt I'm actually wearing. Let's see if I can stand up and show it to you. Uh, social distancing world champion. I guess that's showing up there. I think that's Bigfoot there. Social distancing world champion. So I've been wearing that a little bit. And also, as I dive down and pick it up, she sent me this. This is a solar powered charger. Like if your phone is out of juice and stuff, you can hook your phone up to it. It charges by solar power. I've actually been wanting to get one of these. It's kind of interesting, so I got one from her. So that's cool. It has multiple uh, USB ports on the sides. So that is cool. Because any number of times my phone has gone dead while I'm out hiking and stuff. I usually try to remember to charge it up before I leave, but that doesn't always happen. But anyway, so that is pretty cool. I think at least. As I keep ducking out of place. I got all my stuff down below here. And now this this book I was expecting. This is from Katie. Um, also known as Four Leaf Clover. This book on edible wild plants. And if you've been watching my videos, you know I've been doing a lot of stuff on that. This book is a big book. She asked me if I had this book. I, I, I'm i friends with Katie. She's been at some of our meetups and stuff. So she asked me if I have this one. I don't have this one, so she sent it to me. So thanks. I knew it was coming. But that doesn't make it any less special. So cool. I also got two, uh, I got some cards from Renee as well. Um, as well as the, the shirt and the, uh, the, the solar powered charger. And, uh, but yeah, her mom, her mom sent a little financial gift in one of the cards. So thank you for that. Karen is her name, I think. So thank you, Renee, for the cards and the gifts. And let's see what we got here. Got another card here. This is from, well, this is from Millie. Got a beautiful card, some cardinals, and I believe those are flowering dogwoods on there. And I think, yeah, from a from a former hiker, she's another person that doesn't get out as much as she'd like to. So she likes to watch my videos, and she mentions a number of places that she's been to. That's cool. It is a pretty card, though. Let's see here. Uh, I believe this is from Todd. Oh, this is from Sharon. <laughs> Todd sent me a similar card, but this is from uh, Sharon. She has some. She wrote me a letter. I'm not gonna read it to you, but uh, yeah, has some kind words. And thank you for the financial gift as well, Sharon. Oh yeah, she's another person with some health issues. All right, thank you. Let's see, oh Marsha, I think that's how you say your name. She's one of the people. Uh, Marsha sent me a box. Uh, there's some uh, more black licorice, actually some red licorice too. Um, in a previous video, someone had sent me those black licorice. Those they were called Scotty dogs. They were in the shape of little little black terrier dogs. She sent me some of those too. They are down in the Jeep. So I might show this to you at the end. And she sent me a whole whole pile of beef jerky, which I was going to bring up here and eat. That's down there too. So thank you, Marcia. Um, yeah, I was, yeah. Can't believe I left it down there. But maybe at the like I said at the end of the video, maybe we'll try some. So thank you. I think this one's from Todd. Oh yeah, this is from Todd. Got me a little letter, and Todd also sent me some jerky, but it is homemade jerky. Now, the, the jerky that Marsha sent me, I haven't tried yet, but Todd's jerky, I tried. It was homemade jerky, and it was good stuff. I've had homemade jerky in the past that was, um, how shall I say it, not good, but his his was good. So thank you for that, Todd. And I think that's I think that's it for the mail. There were eight, eight items today to share with you. So once again, thank you for the mail. Um, once again, the ad, my address is down below. If you scroll down past the video in the description, I get lots of emails. People ask me, where's your address? That's, that's where it is. That's where it is. All right. So once again, thank you. And let's get back to uh, exploring these rocks. Yeah, you do get quite the view from up here. Yeah, this place exceeds what I was expecting to find here. Just all over the place, just rocks everywhere. Yeah, down there's my stuff. There's, that's where all the mail is that I got down there. My bag. 
some vultures out here flying. No, uh, no lizards or snakes yet, but I've been a bit loud up here. All right. All right, so I do want to explore a little bit more around here. We were just up there for mail call. It's just about maneuvering your way around here. Got to try and get down to there without uh, killing myself here. All right. <laughs> I want to kind of see what's over around the corner there. Yeah, I decided to come around the long way instead of trying to scramble down. I mean, just look at all of them. It is. I love these big old rock outcroppings. I think we can go this way. Yeah, they just keep on going that way. Yeah, they have a lot of these signs up. This area under surveillance. This area has been cleaned by the community. Yeah, they have a lot of trouble with spray paint and parties up here because you can see, I think you can see all the glass, you know, glittering in the sun. You know, probably lots of, uh, well, you know what kind of parties are going on up here. So, it's a shame. I mean, I can see why it's a fun place, but you know, unfortunately, people have to trash these places. Is yeah. Oh well. Just cool rock piles everywhere. There's like a little cave down in there. No critters yet, but I think a lot of people come here. So I doubt there's too many critters that actually live live here. Maybe I'm wrong. But I think we'll explore around a little bit more. Yeah, I wouldn't like to see a snake or a lizard out here yet. And even smaller sections of rock continue down there. Yeah. Just massive area of, it's just cool. All right, I'm gonna turn you off for a while. Well, that didn't take long. Right down in there is one of our lizard friends. I'm pretty sure he sees us. That is a skink. Five line skink. Wow. Oops. You can see the lines on his back there. I'm gonna try and get some other pictures with my camera, so I'll be back. My other camera. Yes, yeah, so I spotted him right after I said I probably wouldn't see anything out here, and then I so I was gonna turn you off for a while because I was gonna try and look for some and then you know, literally, you know, 20 seconds later, I looked over and there he was. So that's cool. That's a five-lined skink. Awesome. Now, now I'm going to keep looking. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we can find. I'm, I'm kind of walking away from the more uh, peopleized area. All right. All right. Well, I've been coming down further and further along this little, looks like a homemade trail. I haven't seen any other critters, but since I saw that, that skink up there, it kind of got me excited, hoping to see more. It's actually my first skink I've seen in Pennsylvania. I saw some for the first time down in Maryland last summer at, uh, was it Elk Neck State Forest? In some areas they're really common, and in some areas they're not. 
sometimes they're called blue-tailed lizards. The young have bluish colored tails. But that was an older one, so it didn't have any blue on its tail. I'm just kind of looking around, see if there's any more little critters. But I'm going to start heading back up to the Jeep. I do have one more place I want to check out today. A place called Wild Cat Rocks. Sounds cool. All right, so we've come back down from the rocks, back down to Jeep, and I did want to show you those those other things I left down in the Jeep. Of course, here are those. Here's all the big box of licorice from Marsha. Those are the black Scotty dogs, and these are the red ones. And these are the beef jerky she sent me. I'll try this in a moment. A whole bunch of this stuff. So thanks for that. And here's the homemade jerky that uh, Todd sent me. I've already opened this one up. I was eating, eating at home a little bit. So we'll partake of some of this for you guys. And then we'll head on out soon. Yeah, so here is Todd's jerky. It is homemade. It's good stuff. It's seasoned just right. Not too dry, not too moist. I think so. I've had some homemade jerky that was like, like eating leather. You know, you couldn't, you're like, this stuff. I don't know how to word it. It chews well in the mouth. So, once again, thanks, Todd. All right, well, Todd's jerky is eaten. Now we have the stuff that Marsha sent me. The name on the, on here says Mission Meats. Let's try this. Mm. That's good too, huh? All right. Yeah, thanks once again. I'll be <laughs> eating this on the way to the next place. Should be talking a mouthful either, but all right. Well, thanks for coming along with me on this little adventure. This place is awesome, Hammond Rocks. I should say this is called this is Ridge Road here in Michaux State Forest, just off of Route 233. Awesome place. Just leave the spray cans and the beer bottles at home. There's too much of that here already, but it's an awesome place. And once again, you know, and be careful too, climbing around the rocks. Lots of places you could get hurt. All right, like I said, I'm gonna to try to head to one more place, Wildcat Rocks. Kind of running out of time. I, I, I would like to be home at a certain point. Like I said, I think I said in my previous video, I do. My friend John needs some help tonight moving, and I'd like to maybe get that done for him. Just one, he's just one more thing. He's got to move. We'll see. Wildcat Rocks is just down Ridge Road the other way, on the other side of 233. Anyway, I'm blabbing. I'll see you around.